All right. Um, on this one, we want to find the standard form of the circle with the following properties. We're giving we're given the endpoints of a diameter, and um, what we're going to do here is we're going to find the radius. So when we're given a diameter, like if this was straight across a circle, we could just you know count to the middle if it was straight up and down. But if you look, the two x values are different. Um, so one is negative 10 and one is negative 12. That should be the case. <clears throat> and the the y values. I can't really tell if this is on a straight line or not. So let's let's draw it out and see. We might be able to just count it. Um, that will be the easiest thing to do. So, um, but I don't think it's a straight like straight across. Um, so negative ten would be over here somewhere, and then negative seven, let's just say here, and then uh, negative twelve would be further over, and negative uh, positive three. Yeah. So this is going to be like a diagonal line. So it's not going to be easy just to count straight across. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to find the midpoint of this circle or the center uh, by finding the midpoint, and then um, from there uh, we can we can uh, find the radius by plugging in one of those points. So what you need to remember: this circle is doing something like this, and this might not be exactly, but there's a diagonal line going straight across. Um, those are the endpoints of the diameter. We're going to find the middle, the midpoint, which is going to give us our center. And then once we find the center, uh, we can do the same process that we did in the previous problem to find the radius, uh, to write this in standard form. So, midpoint. Midpoint formula, you're going to have ordered pairs. It's going to be x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we're going to find the midpoint that's going to give us our center. This is going to be the same thing as center because that's the diameter all the way across. <clears throat> diameter is a line that goes all the way across and goes through the middle or the center. So the two ordered pairs that we were given were negative 10 and negative 7, and then negative 12 and uh, 3. All right, so my x values are negative 10 and negative 12. So plugging into the midpoint formula, negative 10 plus negative 12 divided by 2. And then my y values were negative 7 and positive 3, so negative 7 plus 3 divided by 2. And then this will give us 22 negative divided by 2 gives us a negative 11. And then this will give us a negative 4 divided by 2 give us a negative 2. All right, so this is your center. This is the center. This is the center. This is your H and this is your K. All right, and then we can plug in center. And then we can plug in one of these points to find the R squared. You could also do the distance formula, which it'll be a little bit more work. I think it's just easy just to find the R squared. So we're gonna do the R squared. So when I plug in my equation, let me write it down again x minus h plus y minus k equals r squared uh, plug in a negative 11 so that will be x plus 11 and then plug in a negative 2 so it'll be y plus 2 equals r squared now from here, we can pick any ordered pair that we want of the two that we were given. It should work out. Um, I want to use, 
I guess the 12 and 3, it doesn't matter. I was trying to go with smaller, but I'd rather avoid as many negatives as possible. So let's go with the 12 and 3. So once we figure out our R, we're going to replace it here, our R squared, and then this will be our equation. So since I'm running low on room down here, let me scoot up. And I'm going to do the 12 and the 3. So this is going to be negative 12 plus 11 squared plus the 3 plus 2 squared equals r squared. This gives us a negative 1 squared. This gives us a 5 squared equals r squared. And then this gives us 1 plus 25 equals r squared and we get 26 equals r squared alright so we're going to replace this 26 here and this will be the equation of our our uh, circle so this equals 26 that's going to be in standard form so I'm just going to type that in x plus 11 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared uh oh I got all of that inside I don't need that inside thought I arrowed out okay so squared here plus y plus 2 quantity squared and then that equals 26.